So yesterday I wanted to watch a horror movie so I went on to Amazon Prime and checked a bit of movies and I liked this title of the movie and the synopsis of it as well. The name of the movie is Don't Knock Twice. Sounds interesting isn't it? Let's see how it went. So this is the synopsis of the movie. A mother desperately looking to reconnect with her estranged daughter attracts the attention of a demonic witch. So we'll first start with some of the positives of the movie. The best thing that I liked about this movie was the cinematography and the use of background score to support that. So whenever you are making a horror movie or a thriller movie, two things are very important. The first obviously is the cinematography and the second is the background score that supports it. And both of the things in this movie, in the first 5 to 6 minutes itself, I felt really really engaging and I really liked it. Though the choices that the characters were making at that point in time, I really hated that. I actually wanted to shut down the movie because of the choices but I still went ahead because of the cinematography. The second positive that I thought about this movie was the story. I had a bit of mixed thoughts about it because about the last 8 to 9 minutes of the movie I was thinking everything that the movie was planning to do, it did not do that. Everything the story was leading to, it did not do that. Where was that particular point which that movie focused on and hinted at but right at the end it again flipped and I was really happy that I was proved wrong. Now this is the point where I really like movies where I feel I am wrong. Where I feel I was tricked perfectly by the director and by the screen writers of the movie. So that is why I love the ending of the movie a bit more. Now coming to the negatives, the story will again come here because the screenplay I don't think was that tight. I don't think the screenplay served the story which they told at the end and the acting of the movie was also not as convincing as it should be in a horror movie. The actors that we are focusing on, if they are seeing a ghost, they should feel the pain, they should feel the horror and they should be really really terrified and that feeling of being terrified should be translated across the screen and to the audience as well and that I feel was not done right by the actors. But the overall movie is a decent one, the ratings are not that high for this movie. So basically if you want to ignore the story a bit, you can definitely go for this movie. And if you have already seen this movie, tell me in the comments what you feel about it. And if you watch the movie after watching this review, please come in the comment section, we'll have a healthy discussion about it. Thank you so much for watching.